In the following tutorial, you're going to learn about something which is really helpful when using Flash, and these are Flash extensions. Now, there's a few websites that you might want to go check out. One of them is Jar Productions. This is, um, they have a, a whole series of Flash extensions, which is really excellent. They might say that they're from 2008, but supposedly a lot of these still work in Flash CS4, CS3, and above. And they might work with CS5 as well. Anyway, Take a look at all the different ones that they have here, all these different extensions. Um, some of the extensions do all sorts of different things, like swapping instances for duplicated symbol, or setting instance names on multiple frames, or Queasy tools, which allows us to do some really cool things, such as um, make tweens that have um, current, um, sorry, that have custom easing settings for our ease in and ease out. We have the ability to um, change different properties about our layers or the size of our instances or the um, case of our text, all sorts of different things. And this is a um, pretty nice little one. We even have the ability to um, apply motion blur, which will apply motion blur to our motion tween um, according to when it's moving. So there's some really cool things that you can do with these extensions. Now there's some other websites as well. Toon Monkey has some for timing charts, um, color of layers, um, align and transform, tween to keys, frame edits, multi-swap, which you'll see we'll be using something similar to that. Um, magic tween break into layers, all sorts of different things. You really have to go take a look at these. Um, and that last place I want to look at is the Spiral Storm games. They have a Flash extension called Multiple Symbols at Once. Whether or not this is um, from the other website or not, I don't really know. But here's what it looks like. MassSwap.mxp. That MXP extension stands for the Macromedia extension or something like that. Um, even though it is now Adobe, that MXP is still what we use. So anyway, what we have to do is download that particular extension, and I'm going to save this extension. Most of these you're going to see are a zip file, and then what we need to do is we need to open up that zip file and extract the files. So I'll extract the files here and see what's there. It's called mass swap. I had another one there called multi swap, and I figured I'd try them both out. Multi swap was the one that I believe I found on this particular website here, and it's called multi swap. So you'll see that's already been saved. Um, so I have a couple different ones to try out and see which one works better for me. I also have a test file to open up as well, and you'll want to um, open up a flash file if you want to use these. Anyway, to install an extension, all you have to do is double click, click on the MXP file. This will load up with the extension manager and it says, would you like to uh, migrate them? Sure. So let's double click on that again, hit accept, and now it has installed the multi swap. Now I can close this double click on the mass swap I will accept the license and you'll see it's now enabled and installed that extension as well now I can close the extension manager double click on my flash file or open up flash and we'll look for those extensions might take a second for flash to load but you do want to make sure that you have flash closed before you load the extensions that way you want to make sure that that um, extension is added anyway I'm gonna make a new um, document just to kind of show you how these things work I'm gonna make just a very simple box here and turn that into a symbol and I'm gonna make a bunch of keyframes for this symbol so that I have just obvious that I have some sort of animation in here. Now I can create a tween that goes across all of those different symbols. So you can see that we've got the symbol there, goes up a little bit, goes down a little bit. So now we'll definitely be able to see that we've got all those different keyframes. Now in order to use one of these extensions, I need to find the extension up in the commands panel. And you'll see 
Here are some um, commands that are already built in, but then we have the mass swap and the multi swap. Now, you do need to kind of read a little bit about them to figure out how they work, but in general, what you want to do is duplicate your symbol, change some qualities about it so that we know that this is a different symbol. So now my symbol 2 will be uh, blue. Go back to your main scene, select all the frames that have the symbol that you want to um, select. And what actually is better is if you have multi frames. This is often what's needed. So you select all the frames, um, all the instances of the symbol that you want to replace. Make sure that you select the symbol that you want to replace them with in the library. Go up to commands and do multi swap and you'll see they've now all been swapped for that symbol in the library. The mass swap might work the same. So I'm going to click on symbol one, go to commands, mass swap, and I'll swap five items with symbol one. Yes. So they both work exactly the same. And they're just different um, from different manufacturers or something like that. But you do need to make sure that you select the frames that have the symbol that you want to replace in them and, and also select all those symbols actually on your timeline. So anyway, how this can work with a little bit more extreme project will be with this, where I have an animation that has a lot going on in this animation, and I want to replace all of this. So I'm going to first duplicate this ship animation, bring that out. Now I'm going to duplicate what I need to um, have copied, and the ship body is what I'm going to use. And this ship body, just to make sure we can tell it's different, I'm going to give it a different color. So maybe I'll make this blue. So we actually have a blue ship instead of a gray ship. So you can see that I've got the two versions of that. So I'm going to go inside the timeline of the ship. I'm going to lock all my layers just so I only um, control the layer that I want. I want the ship body layer. And I'm going to turn on edit multiple frames, select a range of keyframes, and I might need to adjust that across a much larger region. Sometimes this takes a little time. Well, even, even 100 frames so far is pretty good. Now I'm going to go back and with that whole range of selection, I'm going to select all the frames in there, all those symbols, rather, in that entire range of keyframes. Now I'll go to make sure that I have the um, objects selected that I want to replace this symbol with in the library. Go to Commands, Multi-Swap, or Mass Swap, either one, and you'll see that all of those instances that I had selected have now been changed. So I've now duplicated my animation with just a different look for all of those different symbols. So this is an extremely useful um, tool to use. And of course, there are extensions in all sorts of different um, categories that can help you be more effective in Flash. So I hope that you do check them out. Um, definitely play around with the ones that are on this Ajar Productions list because there's so many different ones here that can be used. And uh, I hope you enjoy, and thanks for your time.